Carvana and Ryan Seacrest. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. It is Hi. Thursday, the second day of November already. I know, November, flying by. <laughs> Just kidding. Soon it'll be Thanksgiving, but I like your squiggly hair. I have my squiggly hair. I don't yes, often get squiggly you. hair. We I, get, uh, America loves it. It's leftover from last night. I went out last night. I went oh. out last night. What did you do last night? Um, our dear friend who, and I, when I say dear friend, I mean like my heart and soul, Carrie Ann and Naba was awarded um, something called the CTFD Award. So, um, and they asked me to present it to her. And I did not know what CTFD Stood meant. For, right. So I Googled it. Does anybody know? I don't, I don't know what it means. No, no one knows. Okay. okay. So when you Google it, and I encourage you to Google it after the show, but people are doing it now. Go up, go right ahead. Um, it, 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 the moniker comes up, um, calm the F down, okay? So I'm like, that's a great award. I, she deserves it. Think about all the people she calms down in her life all the time. All of those dancers and Bruno Tonioli. And like, she was on tour with Madonna. Like, she deserves this. Is the, I'm like, this is the Lifetime Achievement CTFD Award. But it really is um, from the Actors Fund, they have something called the Career Transition for Dancers Award. And they provide grants for people to start businesses after they leave their. Uh, chosen careers as dancers because a dancer's career is like it's it's grueling and it's brutal and it's short you know you you put in all this time and energy dancing you start when you're young and you know it's a short career and so then what you know what do you do with the skill that you have um and so uh, so this is what they do they pro but they provide um services for uh dancers transitioning That's to great. other careers. So this was us last night on uh, on the red carpet, or I think it was the pink carpet. I couldn't tell. I the really, squiggly hair. Yeah, squiggly hair. And then there were two other up-and-comers also there. Um, Catherine Zeta-Jones was up getting an award. Yeah. yeah. And Michael Douglas, we saw <laughs> them there. Um, so it was really, ex it was an exciting, fun night, and I just... I, I can't say enough about Carrie Ann Inaba. This is a good person. This woman is a good woman. She is, and she fills in for you sometimes yes. when you are away, and she does such a great job, yeah. and she just has a, a great heart and a great spirit. She does, and she fills in for you sometimes when you're not here. She is, and she's, uh, she's got this, her mom was with her last night, and her mom makes the best cornbread on the planet Earth, and I and people will say, no, I do. No, her mom does. <laughs> it's cornbread that was fed a diet of butter all its life. So perfect. It started as butter and somehow corn whisked by, and it <laughs> blew into cornbread. It grew into cornbread. Yes, yes. By the way, if there ever is a Calm Me the F Down award, you are the perfect person to present it. Me? Yes. <laughs> I, I do think you're the perfect person. So if that ever becomes... Yeah. You, you soothe you soothe America very every day. Soothing, very you're very, soothing, you're yes, very soothing. Yes, yeah. uh, I stayed up as late as I could to watch the World Series yes. Game Seven last night. Did it go? Did it go late? It went. Uh, I'm I'm told on the East Coast it went till about 1:38 a.m. <gasps> The first inning alone was about 40 minutes, and congratulations to the Houston Astros, who are the world champions. They. You know, they, you think about, I, I often think about the big script in life, the universal mm. script writer in life, and you look at what Houston has been through this right. year, perfect year for them to bring home the title, so congratulations yeah. to all the people Perfect. In Houston. They, um, that's what somebody was saying, that you can't, you can't feel bad, you can't feel, like, even if you are a, a Dodgers fan, you cannot feel bad for no, Houston. And they played so well. I mean, it, you know, for a Dodger fan, you, you felt a little physically ill the first couple of innings. Right. 
and they couldn't quite recover. Uh, and I was watching with Shayna, and she was uh, on her phone, not really watching. And so <laughs> I, I began to build resentment that she wasn't right. watching with me. She was on net a <laughs> <laughs> I, I will see the ads coming right, into right, my phone right, soon. Right. And she said, um, well, you're really into this. I said, well, yeah, I kind of I got into the World Series. How could you not? You're a guy. I'm a guy. You're a man. I, well, yeah. questionable. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I got into it, and she, she said to me, she said, do you know that you dropped four S-bombs in the first four innings watching the game? I you didn't did even, not. I did, apparently. You I didn't even know. stop I, it right now. Am I, I rubbing I... off on you? Yes, in so many wonderful ways. <laughs> I, do you know, I, I don't know if anybody watches sports. I didn't even realize I was cursing at the television, and I was, I was cursing at the television. I couldn't make it. It was uh, about the fourth inning, and they took such a lead. But one of the great moments last night was uh, Carlos Correa. Mm. He's on the Astros. Mm -hmm. He proposed to his girlfriend <gasps> at the end oh. when they won. Oh. You make me the happiest man in the world. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Oh my God! Okay, okay. The size okay. of the ring. What? The size of the ring? That's what yeah. everybody's talking okay, about. Okay, no, here's what I'm talking about. Ready? What if they didn't win? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Then what? Was he still going to pop the question? So I did a little research. Okay. And I wanted to find out the mechanics of how this all went down. Apparently, in the last inning, the game was still active. He said to one of the assistants in the dugout, he had the ring with the assistant, get the ring ready. Still playing the game, but it looked like the outcome was going to be in favor of the Astros. Well, the ring was just sitting in the locker? It, well, I, I guess it was in the pocket. <laughs> it was in the pocket of an assistant to the team. Okay. So he gets the ring, he proposes, and everyone asking that question. This is what I'm told, that if they didn't win, he was not going to propose. He was going to keep it with him and find another time to propose. I don't know what that time was going to be, but he wasn't going to do it in the moment. Wow. <laughs> That's it. That's a big rock to be carting around, right? It was like... Does she think it was just another baseball in the bag? Was... <laughs> One more baseball it, look in the at, bag. Look at the size of that ice skating rink do on we, the yeah, Do we know anything about the ring? The, the, uh, the, the cut, the clarity, well, well, the color? Well, let's see. I don't, know, I don't know anything about I don't diamonds. know anything about diamonds either. Okay, we'll put that up. How many carrots is that? Any, uh, anybody want to guess? 800. What do you think? Galman, you're familiar 35 with 35 carrots. Is that one diamond? That's, yeah. well... Can somebody get us stats I think it looks on, like yeah. it may be surrounded by some smaller diamonds. Okay. Oh, well, Galman, listen sure. to you. Get your loop. Get yeah. your... Uh, get your... Yeah, you, the, get the, the, the Monopoly thing. Get the, the thing monocle. here. The monocle. The monocle. The monocle. Get your, yeah, I thought Thank you said... You. Some, I didn't know what you said. Get, get the, the loop. The monocle, yes. Yeah, the thing that you... If anybody is watching, if you know anything about that ring or what it looks like, please send it to us. We can get to our inbox later. Send us the ring, in fact. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, we... We're maybe, tired of working every day. Maybe we could use it. So, congratulations to the Astros. Yes, and that's great. Well done. There's more congratulations, more congratulations. We want to congratulate the Frankensteins. That's right. I Tell us more. Yes. What happened? Now everything I do, I feel like I do as you impersonating me. <laughs> Let me... Uh, yes, in Winter Park, Florida, a, a young, young baby Frankenstein was born. That's right. Oscar <laughs> Gray Frankenstein was born at Winter Park Memorial Hospital on Halloween. Isn't that great? Yeah, blowing a kiss. I mean... Is that the most, that, we can all agree, the most adorable of all the Frankensteins. Yes. <laughs> so cute. So, Redefining so cute. the Frankensteins. But, he, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, he, was, he was four days past his due date. He waited until Halloween to be born, as all good Frankensteins should. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cute. Very so cute. cute. Very cute. Uh, this, have, have you ever been to an aquarium? 
Yes. And on the glass, they say many times, you know, please don't tap the glass, you'll scare the fish. Yes. So there is one exhibit, uh, there is a shark tank. And on the glass of the shark tank, it says, touch at your own risk. <laughs> so naturally, I would not. I, of course, I definitely would. Right. Because that is in, that's an invitation to touch the fish tank, well, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and you're not the only one. Take a look at this video and watch what happened. <laughs> How great is that? Does that not make your wait, life? Wait, wait. Please tell me we videotape the audience watching that. <laughs> I, I wish we had a reverse shot of that. That was incredible. Uh, so it's just a video. It's a video screen and a video. And it's a prank. It's a joke. It's, yeah, it's at the internet. <laughs> It's at the International That's Spy Museum. That's not even Museum. funny. They could, like, seriously, somebody could have a heart Cardiac attack. Cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> but the reaction of the guy and your faces was priceless. It was as if the shark came from behind us at you. Uh, so that made my life this week. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. So uh, they're going to get rid of uh, New Yorkers. Listen to this. They're getting rid of the, um, the cabaret laws. You know, there used to be a law that you were not allowed. You were not allowed. And I can't believe this because this is a law I have broken numerous times. But you were not allowed to um, dance in bars unless they had a specific cabaret license. This is a 91-year-old law that bound the, uh, uh, the band dancing in city night spots unless they specifically had this cabaret license. And, um, and they're getting rid of it, finally. They're finally getting rid of it. We'll be able to dance. That's here? Yeah. That's in the city here? New York city. Oh, I didn't know that. 91-year-old law. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, well, we've broken the law I've broken many times. I've broken the law so many times. I, I was, mean, I've, I, I live to break that law. Well, I was about to break that law tomorrow night. Yes, <laughs> you of know, course. Being we're, the weekend. Yeah, it's the weekend. It's like, it's like Footloose in real life. It is, exactly. That was based on a true story. <laughs> I wonder why they started that law to begin with. Well, it had to was do... Was it a prohibition? Well, let's go, let's go to oh, our let's historian. Oh, let's go to the doctor. Yes, uh, I, the I, doctor and historian. The the, oh! Let's Art, see. Art, do you have any, any, any on this? It ha it's something about money and an extra license and collecting money. and an extra license. Well, we yes. got that from the article. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where I got it. Art, did you, did you, no. Art, <laughs> Are you? Art, back in the day, Art was Art so was offended by dancing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> As the author of this law. Established yes. a law. <laughs> As one of the great forefathers of New York City. <laughs> he said to, by the way, so for your, your your Halloween party. Yeah. I, I was uh, running 45 minutes behind when Art was expecting me, so he said. Oh yes, me a text. oh no, Art is very punctual. Right. Art was like the second person to arrive. <laughs> he sends me a text and he says, um, "Where are you? We're at the party. I'm two screwdrivers in." <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I determined. I think I know why. His, his it's his drink. Uh, apparently, it's his yeah. drink. Yeah. Because the screwdriver is the drink of all day parts. You yes. can have it in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And he concurred and yeah. confirmed that. No, that is true. That is true. I said... I got a kick I, out of that. I said, because I had a bartender there, and I said, the only thing I definitely require is orange juice, because I know Art Moore will have... Um, Hella screwdrivers. <laughs> He'll have this many screwdrivers. So you need to make sure we have orange juice. Everybody else is sort of like whatever. Everyone's easy. Everybody yeah. else is but pretty easy. But Mr. He, maintenance right. over there. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> High Maintenance. And by the way, Gelman, let me just say one more time. Yes. Um, and I'm not quite sure what your costume was because yes. once you donned that wig, I was like, you remind me of so many people when you have the long wig. And Andy Cohen said it best. You remind me of Gelman of the Regis and Kathy Lee days. Yeah. That's what I was like, long oh, hair. right. Long hair, yeah. 
Lori had a deja vu flashback. I was putting on the wig. It was a Hamilton costume. But when I, I never put the got wig past on, your neck, so I didn't yeah. know that you she were in the costume. She was like, oh my gosh, I just saw you from 25 years yeah. ago. Did anyone say you look like Bono from YouTube? Because yes. I heard that going around yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, I was passing that rumor yeah, around. He was yeah. passing yeah. that yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Did anyone? Yes, Michael Gelman. That's right. He said, he said, you know, people were saying I looked like Bono. Bono's I said, here. people were saying? Yeah, right. I said, well, I thought I People thought so. were saying. I yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, we have a huge, sun, sunshiny show today. Kate Hudson is here. Awesome. And we'll get our annual flu shot. From Dr. Greg Yapolator? Yapolator. I, okay. <laughs> okay, now listen. My first time going to this doc. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not sure if you know, Dr. Yapolator is a pediatrician, so when he gives us our Perfect. flu shots, it's in our bum. <laughs> it's funny, until doctors hear my voice, they think I'm a child. Yeah. So, but you have to, like, be ready to show your cheek well, on Well, they TV. told me my left side. I didn't know they meant my cheek. Your left butt cheek. Didn't yeah, know your that. left buttock. All right, well, it comes you're... prepared every day, Kevin. Yeah, okay, good, good. Uh, and if you have a dog, if you have a dog, we have a new contest that you need to know about. Yeah, we're gonna announce it later on. We're gonna announce it later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any dog owners in the house? So this is a fun, very, very cool contest. We'll tell you about that in a little yeah. bit. But right now, it's time for Call Me Live Travel Trivia. <laughs> The Kira Kid from Atlanta, Georgia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Great job. You look thank you. You look familiar. You do too. <laughs> you didn't audition for American Idol, did you? I did. You did? No. Yes. What no year? No kidding. Um, I was 28, so about 11 years ago. Wow. It wasn't my fault. I know. You were really great. Okay, thanks. Super uh, nice. Isn't he great? Very much. It was so. the judges. It was the yeah. judges. Well, it's nice to see you. Thanks for you coming back to so American Idol. I don't know if you heard. American Idol's coming back, so you should audition again. I don't think I'm young enough. <laughs> no, no, no. You are, because I'm doing it. <laughs> we can do a duet. A duet. You and me. We're changing the rules. They're uh, having a special agent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's spin the wheel, shall we? It's Pat. Pat. I guess Laconia, that's New Hampshire. Yeah. Live phone. So call. nervous. I get so excited though. So excited. So excited. So excited. <clears throat> I thought I heard a pickup. It's three rings. We go to four, huh? Is that where they're trying to get rid of daylight savings time? Do you know? That Why? No, is is that where? A oh, where? I thought someplace. A lot of people are talking about Yeah. It. Okay, so we'll go to the next one? Is All right. No answer. Lorelai from Woodhaven. Pat's so engrossed in the show, she forgot to answer. <laughs> yeah. that, that's us calling. Uh, Lorelai? Lore, Lorelai. Woodhaven, Michigan. Hello? Hi, is Lorelai there? This is her. Well, Lorelai, it's Ryan Seacrest and Kelly Ripper. You're live on the air. Good morning. Good morning. What are you Good up morning. to? Um, what, what are you up to this morning? Well, I'm watching you on TV. Yeah. Hey, we're looking at your picture there now. Are you in Venice? Uh, actually, Las Vegas. Ah, close. So I was close then. I was close then. <laughs> I, too, have that same picture, and yeah. everyone's confused. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for watching us. We appreciate that. We're going to spin the wheel and see what you're playing for. Okay.
All right. Ah, uh, the St. James's Club in Morgan Bay, St. Lucia. Seven days and six nights in a one-bedroom ocean view suite. <laughs> It's all inclusive. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $8,300. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck, Lorelai. Thank you. So, Lorelai, in yesterday's show, we talked with Derek Huff. What did Derek say his girlfriend dressed as for Halloween? Wonder Woman. Yeah! Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the St. James's Club, Morgan Bay. The St. James's Club Morgan Bay is set amid 25 acres of colorful hillside gardens on the northern coast of St. Lucia. This all-inclusive beachfront resort offers stunning ocean and garden views, nightly entertainment, four restaurants, and a host of land and water activities, including four freshwater pools, tennis, sailing, kayaking, and more. Your prize is valued at approximately $8,300. So Lorelai, congrats! Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. Yay. Now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. 72. <laughs> We'll open up Kelly and Ryan's inbox to hear your comments and questions. We'll take our annual flu shot. Coming up next, Kate Hudson. It's going to get to 70. It is. I mean, unseasonably warm out there. There you go. Welcome to New York there in the we fall. Go. Yeah. It's summer again. On tomorrow's show, a performance by Blake Shelton. <laughs> also, Kevin from This Is Us, Justin Hartley, will be here with us. Yeah. Jacek is here. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? You want to get Jacek. You want? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We definitely want to. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you all heard it. Okay. She does it all. She's an actress, a producer, a fashion icon, an entrepreneur, and an author. She's also a lot of fun. Please welcome the mega talented Kate Hudson. <laughs> Funny. Yes. You've never like you, well, you've seen each other before, like on red carpets and yes. stuff. Yeah. Yes. Many, yes. Of course. For many, many years. For many years. years. <laughs> um, you've been crisscrossing the country the past few weeks. You've been yeah. all over the place. I've been like commuting to New York all month. Is really I mean, what you should I'm, have a place here. Come on. I know. Come I, on. It's long overdue. It's I did time. for a long time, but I, I kind of I miss New York. Did you hear they're getting rid of, rid of the cabaret laws so we can dance wherever we want? <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. No longer breaking the law. <laughs> the best. Yeah. But I can't help but notice you've cut your hair shorter, I know. right? Well, we kind of have a similar haircut, right? Y yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I kind of raised mine up a little bit, you and I If would you want to borrow my pomade, twinsies. I've got extra pomade <laughs> back there. Lots of pomade it's here. It's been awesome. It's, it was, I, I gotta tell you, what's so funny is your hair to me is so secondary, because when I look at you, I just see your beaming sunshine face. Aww. So then I was like, oh yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. So, is it for a role? Yeah, I, I did uh, see a directed musical that I did wow. and she was like well you want to shave your head and I was like yes I do yeah. and so I did I shaved my head so tell, did you cry like was there an adjustment period not really no no it was actually kind of easy it's easy to deal with it's yeah. it was easy and then I, I feel like for me it was more I guess when you just play characters you just don't think about it as much as like, if I wasn't thinking like, about the if perception. you're on a talk show every day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was like, if you're playing a character and it calls for it, right. you're, like, excited about it. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but then when I started to do it, there was a, there was a moment of, like, you know, holy... You know. Yeah. Yeah, holy. And, yeah, holy. Right. And, uh, and then it was fine. Bing did it. Bing and Sia both Oh, no kidding. It. Yes. Wow, that's major. Now, you... 
usually do something very festive for Halloween. I didn't do it this you year. You didn't throw the party? Uh -uh. No party? I didn't at the party. I was too crazy. And you kind of got to go dark every once in a while. That's like, so, yeah, 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 people coming yeah back because, for more. you know, people miss yeah, it. Yeah, and by the way, can't somebody else do it for a change? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you have a Halloween party? I did. I had a Halloween party. She yeah. had a great Halloween I, party. It was really fun. fun. Yeah. I, I, if, if you were in town, you would have come. It would have oh, been fun. Oh, so, so fun. fun. I do miss it. That's the one party that it started as like a whim. It just started one year where it was like, oh, let's have a Halloween party. And it was so crazy. And then it just, you know, it's that's, like a big old school house. Yeah, that's the same. That's how this started. Now, there, were, there, were, there was booze at this party. There was candy probably at your house for Halloween, yeah. right? Yeah. Lots of candy? Lots of candy. How do you keep the kids from eating all of the candy? Well, <laughs> I actually posted something that was like super funny. It's this really crazy <clears throat> scarecrow. And it has a sensor that when you go into the bowl, the scarecrow pops up and kind of scares. Yeah. I got it. You know, it worked for like a couple times. And right. then the kids. <laughs> they got were, wise to it. Yeah, they also figured yeah. out how to unplug you have it. it. Here it is. Here it is. Just so you can see. <laughs> I have to say that the, that thing would go off in the middle of the night when I first and got And scare you yeah. to death. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're here. They've arrived. Yeah, They're coming. Let's do it. It was the same reaction our audience had when we showed the shark. Oh, yeah. Did you see the shark? We'll, be, yeah, we'll show it to you. We'll be right back with Kate. Stay with us. We'll show it to you. whose new book is called Pretty Fun. I think it should be called Hella Fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pretty Fun, all of my pretty books are sort of like this idea that you can't ever reach perfection. Like, you should just throw that right out the window. So, like, Pretty Fun is a yeah. pretty good party. Yeah, it's right? a pretty good party. Yeah. yeah. So, I kind of, like, so you don't, you know, everyone's want, everyone wants to set the expectations super high. Yeah. I'm like, don't set them too high. Just, like, go out to have a really good time. Did you have a See? pretty fun time watching the World Series game yes. seven last night? You, yeah. did. you watched the whole thing? I did. I did. But you know what was <sighs> funny about this World Series? I kind of didn't care who won. And I'm an L.A. L well, L.A. Colorado fan. Bronco. Right. Bronco yeah. Dodger-ish. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but, but I was actually... So happy that the Astros. How can you feel bad? No, it's a great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying to Kelly though. What a World Series! Well, I was saying to Kelly, what an incredible. I found myself, and I'm. I don't watch all the sporting events. I usually shop, but but I did. I did. He's the perfect man. I'm not kidding. He's the perfect man. But I did get into this, and I was. I found myself yelling at the television. Oh yeah. Do you scream? I know you watch football too. Oh yeah. I'm a very audible sports fan. I like. Term, audible yeah. sports fan. Yeah, that's funny. I, I, I don't, I don't um, uh, and for this, it was definitely one of those. I mean, really, honestly, I think this was maybe one of the best world. I mean, we're a baseball family, so this is one of the best World Series, I think, in a really, really long time. I mean, it was like, and so, so cool that they went to a game seven. Like, it deserved that game seven, and it was cool. Were you a sporty kid? Yeah. You were? Yeah. What was your sport? Soccer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was a center mid. Wow. And yeah. in, in Colorado, you got to be... Well, I played you mostly in, in Yeah, in okay. L.A. Because we, we split time. Got it. So L.A. Got was, it. you know... Mm -hmm. I played in Colorado a little bit, but all the, like, club teams and stuff I played in. Right. LA. Now, you're commuting back and forth. You're a mom. You work. <laughs> Do you always find that you have to have the rhythm of busyness and activity? I feel like you yeah. like that. Yeah, I do. I do. That means I, I when I'm. Well, I also like the time to just kind of like completely shut everything. Can you shut off. it down? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at shutting it down. <laughs> you can. You gotta she teach can. him. You have to teach him. No, he I will. Well, he he is the busiest man on the planet. On, on the planet. But I like. I feel a lot of gratitude for the movement of my life. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I. But but they're creatively because I'm. I'm a creative. I do have to kind of shut it down sometimes. The business side of my brain kind of can get in the way of. Well, your family must help because you've got a big family. Yeah. And you do. You have like traditions. Like I, you t told us uh, about your uh, New Year's Eve tradition with mm -hmm. the fire and oh, you yeah. your wishes uh -huh. into the fire. We and throw. Our, yeah, yeah, we do. We throw wishes and well, we throw not our. We throw what we want to like kind of get rid of. Oh, get rid of. Okay. Into the fire. We do a drum circle yeah. and amazing. Yeah. Well, my family. I think it's the traditions in our family. 
family kind of go beyond the actual holidays? Right. Do you know what I mean? It goes beyond Christmas and Thanksgiving. Uh, we're constantly having little parties in our house with our family. Um, I grew up with like the open door kind of house and mm -hmm. my parents were always, uh, there was always food. You could always help yourself to anything, you know, in the fridge and they kind of created this really homey environment. And I think that growing up, it made for a lot of laughter and a lot of fun and a lot of safety. Yeah. And so when I got older and I started to create my own home, it just became an extension of what I had known. Mm -hmm. And I realized when I was writing this book that it's a huge part of my, my wellness is this kind of safe, fun family mm, world that right. I'm creating and that we're all creating together, that that actually is something that to connect is like the one great de-stressor that I have yeah. is to actually, you know, have those moments with the people that you love, whether it be your friends or your family. Because that's the stuff that matters. It at really is. Day. At the end of the it's day, those are the people holding your yeah. hand, right? And right. it's like, so to be able to celebrate that, and in my book I call it, you know, a celebration practice, but to celebrate each other mm -hmm. is so great. And it's not just the, like, Thanksgivings or... Even though yeah. those are so fun. Yeah, but a good report card or something. Yeah, like yeah. a red letter day. We call those yeah. a red letter day. Or, you know, family dinners. I mean, sometimes, you know, we, uh, life is super busy. It's hard to yeah. sit down all together and have that, uh, have that time when you're, everyone's running around and the kids are playing sports. And so to make sure that you do that at least two, three times a week is huge. Kate says that the host or hostess of the party could always have the most fun. Yes. I find it stressful. We'll talk about that with Kate <laughs> after the break. What? You two are having the best time. I know. It's just, we always do. Yeah, we always do. We, we're a good time. We also find each other at events. You do? It's you, kind you're of drawn to each other? Across a crowded we'll like find room. each other across crowded mm -hmm. room. We will. So you, you were talking in your book about hosting parties, and yeah. Kelly just hosted a party. She's the greatest host of a party. <laughs> but I feel like you are, you're not worried, but you just want to make sure everybody else is having a great I time before sure you. I want to make sure everybody else is having fun so that I find myself really not um, in the party. Okay. I like to go to parties oh. because that way I make myself the most fun party guest. Right. So the people are always like, oh, I have to invite her back because she's a good time. Right. right? right? And your you're known parties, for that. My your own, own party, parties, I'm like, like, see, I'm the opposite. Right. I'd rather throw a party so that I can have the most fun at the party. Right. right. And I feel like that's the key to having a great party is that the host should always be having the most fun. Right. Because then it sets off the tone and the energy for how everyone else is So gonna... do you not worry about things? No. You just because if let you're going to have a party, it, things are going to get weird and messy. And right. that's kind of the fun. You want people to feel like if they are sitting down that they can, you know, if they spill something that they're, you know, going to be invited back or, yeah. you know, can get <laughs> a little this sloppy. This didn't worry about that. <laughs> this was, they were like, Psh. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I think you got to, you know, that's one. I have a bunch of rules in the book and like forgetting the mess is one of them like you just have to kind of you know but what like, happens when there is a mess like what's your messy. what was the biggest mess that you, has ever the happened the biggest mess yeah. biggest mess every halloween party every i mean it's, right. the house smells for like three days oh. <laughs> it's just like you know but i i love it and then i think also you know sometimes one of my favorite things about it is like forgetting about it letting people just do whatever not worrying about cleaning up as you go and then at the end of the night it's always like who are the people that are going to hang it hang out and help you clean up at the end of the night yeah always end up kind of being that you know really awesome time yeah. and you recap and it's always someone who you least expected it to be um so i kind of like it or you just go to bed and wake up and be like whoa yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do yeah. like to photograph the next day proof, <laughs> proof of a good time uh, kate's new book it's called pretty fun it is available now Monday on Live from Murder on the Orient Express, Josh Gad. All right, we are back. We're going up this we're go oh, so we're not doing it on the... So Ripa told me we were doing it on the rear end, Dr. Gray. <laughs> Just so. kidding. Just jokes, Ryan. Ah. Just jokes. All right. Hey, it's flu season once again. And here to give us our annual flu shot is the best pediatrician on earth, Dr. Greg Epolitor. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> 
in your glasses. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Ryan's a little nervous. He's not he's not big on flu shots. He's, he's heard about all the myths. There's so many <laughs> so many myths, you know. Right. right. Well, the big myth of course is that the flu vaccine will give you the flu. Everybody that says it. That is not true. Are you Definitely sure? Cuz I thought I felt something after I got it one time. You will feel a little something. Right. What? Well, so but what is your fear? T tell no, me. No, no, I just what, I, what, are you, I, what are you worried about? No, you know, I don't you, mind. Can, you can tell you can tell me. <laughs> and anything you tell your doctor is confidential, okay? <laughs> That worries me. It's okay. It's going, that one goes in your bum. That one goes in your bum. That's why I'm worried. It's going to be fine. Okay. Everybody should get the flu shot. Anyone six months and above should get the flu shot. And we have so many types now for under three years of age. We have little tiny little needles like that for people that have needle phobia. Oh. We have new ones today for people over 65 years of age that work much better. So oh. everybody should get the flu Tell shot. Me, Even you people with. Huh. <laughs> Lucky me. Even people with egg allergies. So really, there is no excuse. And it's different every year, right? You they, need to get it every year? They adjust it every year to try and match the strains, but there is some guesswork. They've gotten rid of the mist, right? The flu mist, unfortunately, for this year, the second time in a row, is not recommended this year. Hmm. So only the injectables are available this, this year. this stupid flu changes all the time, right? All the time. It, it, mutates, yes. it mutates all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to try and keep ahead of it. Okay. You know, the gossip, the flu gossip at the gym, Dr. Greg, is that they're working on a... <laughs> vaccine that could protect you from the flu for five to ten years. That is absolutely true. They're working on the holy grail of flu vaccines. That's absolutely true. We're not quite there yet. But really, Ryan, think about it. Should you get, when you get the vaccine, one or two days of a little soreness, okay, a little achiness, if you don't get the flu shot, 10 days, high fever, coughing, body aches, yeah, right. your headache, I'm so out of work for two weeks. No, I, don't, I don't like that. Okay, so we don't, you know. Yeah, that like makes him You're a smart nervous. guy. I like to work. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you're a pediatrician. It's perfect for us. Excellent. Yeah. Very okay. good. So, Who's first today? Um, who should go first, Gelman? Uh, yeah. No, you should go yeah, first. Yeah, <laughs> you you. You are the veteran. Okay. So the technique yeah. is we wipe with the alcohol. We do the injection. Yes. We put on a Band-Aid. Okay. Takes about six seconds. Okay. Perfect. All Ryan, right. maybe you give us a hand and hold this sure. up for me like that. Okay. okay. We want to relax the arm, Kelly. Relax okay. It. Relax okay. like that. Turn a little but bit I towards me like I... that. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and you like that? Yes. Okay. All right. I like good. it. All right. Look so at that first... anaclass paying off, Ripa. I don't know. I'm, I'm not so, feeling it right now. Yeah, no. You like? You're doing four or five classes nice a day in 90 there. minutes right here. <laughs> And then we get the flu vaccine. All right, take a deep breath. I'm fine with needles. Very good. And then breathe out and relax. And there's our vaccine. Ooh. And that is already done and finished. <laughs> yeah. Rub a little bit like that. Excellent. What a great patient. What a great right. See how easy that Try is, Try to right? remember, I get Botox, I put needles <laughs> in my face. <laughs> All right, I'll be getting mine online if you want to watch. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Are you okay, see? Well, yeah, do you want me to hold on to yeah, you? Thank you? Okay, okay. so Ryan, so that was okay, right? Yeah, yeah. it's good. Nothing. I got now, it. Let's, let, I'm going to release the uh, bicep. All right. <laughs> nothing. nothing. So, I don't sorry, know. To, I know, sorry to let you down. It might, it, it might not be big enough. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We won't no. use that one. We'll use you that one. You're going to hold my hand or you're right. no, not this. allergic to eggs. No, I'm not. I love eggs. Matter of fact, I like quail eggs, regular eggs. Excellent. Very good. I eat all, all kinds right. of eggs. You're not pregnant. I'm oh, not well, you pregnant. could get. Actually, women that are pregnant should definitely get the vaccine. That's very important, okay? Okay. okay. All right. And have you ever had any adverse reactions to vaccines in the past? Not to my knowledge. Very good. So you're a candidate. Very good. Okay, okay. great. Turn a little bit like this. Yeah. Very good. All right. Kelly, you got his hand, so yeah, he's not okay. He I don't want him. I don't want him to reach out and grab the needle. Oh, okay, all right, uh, Dr. Okay. Greg. Now that you've you've sort of told me this is going to be okay, I'm okay. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So again, I'm gonna we be might back here. do the injection, band aid. That's it. Okay. So where are you guys from? <laughs> <laughs> Little wife. No, very good. Fine. How many people get the flu every year? Hi. Thirty-five million. Mm. Fifty million. Could you stop chatting and just get the <laughs> <laughs> take a breath? Okay. Breathe out, relax. Here we go, and that is done. That's it. That's it. No problem. You know, it looks rub like that. <laughs> would you like? Would you like a lolly from the urine tray? <laughs> Actually, we call that an emesis basin. Oh, okay. okay. Right. It's more for throwing up in, not urine. <laughs> it, by the way, you don't even feel it. You feel it. Okay. It's great. Now I'm having grape. 
I started out with blueberry, and that was turning my tongue blue, but now the grape is turning it's, my tongue purple. It's the natural color of a tongue. Hey, calling all dog, uh, dog owners with canine crooners. That's right, I said canine crooners. So do you have a, a terrier who can hold a tune? Perhaps a vishla with a voice. Or how about a basset who can belt? <laughs> oh, it's never ending. If you have a dog who can sing, a singing dog, a dog who can sing, we're looking for the most talented pooches for lives. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow contest. The grand prize winner will receive a six-day, five-night vacation trip for two in an oceanfront room at the St. James's Club, Morgan Bay, St. Lucia. Airfare, ground transportation, all meals, drinks are included. So visit kellyryan.com or live's Facebook page and send us a short video of your pup in action because entries start right now. My, Georgia, Georgia could not, doesn't do anything but. Yeah, yeah, she's not, a big, she's not a big singer. She's not like me. Right. Um, well, while you enjoy that, mm -hmm. lollipop, that oh. I, uh, that's the one I earned. Um, Sorry. I am eat, I'm eating his lollipop. Uh, Emily Reeves in Brazil, Indiana, says, <laughs> says as someone with the phobia of sharks, Paleophobia. That shark video was not something I was hoping to see this morning. <laughs> that was terrifying, and I don't think I'll settle down for a while. My heart is pounding, and I will never watch the two of you again. I, no, I just added that part. But hopefully, you, hopefully you do. Listen, Sorry about the commercial break will be more Sorry. with uh, more in if you'd like to enter live's Pow Wow Wow contest, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com. Back the inbox here. Uh, Kelly, you're right. The magnifying lenses for the eyes to look at diamonds are called loops. You Thank are correct. You. Thank although, you very much. Although I don't think that one was the size that needed a loop. I thought it was pretty big. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought it yeah. was gigantic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, that's, so what that's they the opposite. Yeah, yeah okay, the opposite. It. It's so big that you don't, you don't need, need a the loop. loop. Right. Uh, my former co worker, Jim, says Su uh, Suzanne from Columbus, Ohio. My former co worker, Jim, used to say that there should be a senior idol. Uh -huh. Then he'd break into his mean rendition of Earth Angel. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, I found the ages. I didn't actually know, so we looked it up on the website. The ages for American Idol contestants, 15 to 28, not my rule. Oh. <laughs> not my rule. That's good. Tomorrow, Blake Shelton's on the show. Justin Hartley is here. And UFC star, Joanna Yajacek. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.